I teach you the word first and I tell you what it's about. The song is about seal meat. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> We want to welcome the Jerry Cans to the Winnipeg Folk Festival, and this happens to be probably my youngest interview ever. This is Lady, and you are how old, Lady? Seven months. Seven months, and here traveling with your mom and dad, and such an incredible band. So, Andrew, I guess the story behind the Jerry Cans. Well, we I moved up to what was uh, then Northwest Territories. Now it's Nunavut. It's kind of gone, gone through a lot of transition, but I moved there when I was two, and I grew up there, and uh, we didn't have not much to do in the long winters and the cold, dark winters, so it, uh, music was something we always did. And then Nancy and I got together, and we kind of formed, we had been, I'd been playing with some other guys, and then Nancy joined the group, and that's what became the Jerry Cans, and we started singing in Inuktitut and throat singing, so it's kind of taken off from there. Amazing, like Nancy in your wildest dreams, did you ever think that traditional Inuit throat singing would be part of his kind of music? <laughs> I started off performing with a partner actually doing actual like traditional throat singing and then we decided maybe it might sound really cool with contemporary music so like um, we added it and it sounded great so we just kept on doing it and people seemed to love it so sometimes they're not sure of like how to react but well, Andrew does a good job of getting the crowd going, and I mean, that, it's all about bringing people in, and I mean, even you're making it a family affair, too. Yeah, I think people, uh, it's funny, because the audiences, uh, we played on Parliament Hill, and the directors wanted Baby on stage with us to kind of, because she's with us all the time, we have another daughter that's overheating as well, but uh, they're both with us, and it's a family affair, and we really try to, it's part of who we are, so we try and share that with everybody, and it's funny, because all the musicians that are away from their kids also appreciate having a little bit of baby time, so we're, we meet lots of people. This lots is our PR, our PR girl, oh. that's what we call her. You're from a very small community and now you bring your brand of music here to an open air festival where 40,000 people are going to hear it. Is that a little daunting or no, it's just another concert? Nancy? I, I always get nervous before a show and I think that's a good thing because if I'm not nervous there's something wrong. <laughs> but um, being able to play music uh, and talk, uh, learn, uh, sing in our language mm -hmm. in the southern, I don't know, southern communities. It just uh, makes me proud as an Inuk to be able to bring that forward, I guess. Yeah, it's a def it definitely is a first time experience for a lot of people. <laughs> and we really, we love to do it because I'm non Inuk, I'm white singing in Inuktitut, so that's something that we always try and be very open about too. That's some part of our kind of thing is that non-Aboriginal people can learn languages and can engage with those with those things. But I also think that we're seeing in Nunavut kind of as breaking down some barriers for other young bands that are singing in Inuktitut. Before it was so, the, the options of where you could play were very small, but we're trying to kind of really smash those. So we can you can sing all in an Aboriginal language, Inuktitut that's not even from this territory, and people will still appreciate it and find something to, to that they feel uh, feel when they listen to it. I think that is so beautiful because in this day and age there's so much still prejudice and racism and I mean to say that music is a universal langu a language it truly is and thank you for bringing the jerry cans to Winnipeg Folk Fest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Winnipeg Folk Festival 2015. Can someone take a picture? There's more musicians on stage than there are, than there are in all of Nunavut. You guys are moving home with us.